One line that I wanted to read to you from Philippians chapter 4 as we get ready to now step into the things that we have proclaimed. Yeah. I think that we can say a whole bunch of stuff, but if we don't do nothing about what we've learned, we're going to stay in the same spot. Yeah. I said, you know, we, we've been saying Happy New Year to people. Now, listen, is it Happy New Year or Happy Same Year? Because nothing changes if nothing changes. So Happy Same Year to some. I don't know you, but this is the year of the Lord's release. And boy, happy new year to me, baby. Is it a happy new year for anybody? Yeah. Look at what was written in verse 9. Do what you have learned and received. I'm reading from the Holman Christian Standard Version today. Do what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. And the God of peace will be with you. Get yourself. You've got to do something about it. You ever hear that story of the three frogs on the little lily pad? There's three of them on the lily pad. One decided that he was going to jump off. So if one decided that he was going to jump off, how many frogs were left on the lily pad? Two. No, three. it was three because only one decided. He didn't actually do it. Oh. <laughs> See, because you can decide something, but you don't get a harvest based on what you decide. Harvest comes based on action. You can have faith all you want, but faith without works is what? Come on now. You can call for your ancestral possession to be released to you, and you scream it like, like Dr. Leroy Thompson. Money coming, money coming, money coming. So guess what? Ain't no money going to come to you if you don't do something about the money you got. I believe it was W.E.B. Du Bois uh, who said uh, something about, I don't remember the exact quote, but he talked about if the 10% Y'all don't know this quote. The 10% got, uh, if you learn something, you got an understanding, go back and teach it to the 90. Yeah. Wow. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right? So we, we got to do something about the information that we have. And you know, they, they overcame them by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. All right? Don't just be stingy with this word. and You hold it up in your own belt. All right? Acts, the book of Acts, the book of Acts, the book of Acts, the Acts of what? The Acts of the Apostles. What is going to be written about you? What would be written about you if there was a book about you? Have you ever noticed how, how God didn't write a book called Words? <laughs> he didn't write a book called Words, right? 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 Because people talk all the time, but they don't do nothing. The Acts. You like that mother? The Acts. All right? You got to do something with your words. Amen. All right, yes. these ideas that have been released to you, you remember that your purpose is on the inside of you. It's the dream that won't go away. Yes. All right, do something about these things that God has released to you. Yes. You're going to be mad because your idea is going to pop up in somebody else's head. Oh, yeah. Ideas don't die. They just pop in somebody else's head. <laughs> yeah. Don't be like that third frog still sitting on the lily pad. Wow. Have you ever tried to get into a swimming pool? <laughs> A cold pool, and what happens is, happens is you feel the water, and you go, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then perhaps you ease on in there, but you're still feeling it, and you start shaking. Ooh. But guess what? Big head, if you just jump on in, it may affect you just for a quick second. But then guess what? You pass all that other stuff. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's time for you to just jump in. Amen. Just jump in the pool, folks. Jump in the release that God has Amen. given you. Okay? We're going to do something about the things that we've learned, but then remember what Philippians 4, 9 said, the other part, it says, and the God of peace will be with you. Amen. We'll be with you. Jesus. Folks, this is what we're going to talk about today, and then we're going to go home. Help us on the way. Amen. Help us on the way. How many of you know that release can be scary? Yes. Yes. When God tells you that he's going to take you to a certain level, and he's going to take you to a certain place, uh, he's going to take you and, it's, and have you experience some different things, it can be spooky. Yes. God, you want me to now operate in this vision that you're giving me? You want me to do something about what you've given me? Uh, and you get a little nervous. But God says, yo, I got you. Where God gives you space, where God gives you a territory, he always gives you grace. Yes, yes. Where God gives you space, He always gives you grace. So God says, listen, go over to this land that I've already given you. Guess what? There's going to be provisions already in the land. Mm -hmm. 
and you don't even see it. And the thing is, if, if, if you sit back and you be scared, you're never going to see that all the, the provisions that God has already given you right over there in that place. God wants you to remember, folks, that He was here and He will be there. Yeah. Don't miss that. He was here and He will be there. He was your help before. He's going to be your help in this next place. Yes. I was here and I will be there. Remember, it's like when you go away to camp and you scribble some things on the wall. And, you know, PJ was here. And then you dot, 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 and you write the date. God says, I was here and I will be there. Amen. I'll never leave you nor forsake you, all right? That's what you got to remember as you go forth. That God was here and he will be there. He's not going to leave me. He's not, not going to call me into this season. He's not going to tell me to take this risk. He's going to let me sink. All right? Well, he told Peter, boy, I'm here. All right?